So for today, we're going to be looking at 801 Banshees or and Eververse for the last call. If you guys don't, we usually look at the end of the week so that way you guys are aware of what's leaving. This week is pretty special considering Eververse is selling an armor set, well, one armor set, one piece of it from an armor set that was being sold a while ago. I didn't even have it or I don't still have it. So definitely would recommend checking out this video. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification. Other than that, let's look at 801. Um, I guess we'll look at the fit for the video first. So this is a set that I made for this one right here, the Crimson Plume, because yeah, I'm working on the playlist armor video, which thankfully I not only have the review and the shader video uh, ready to go, but I also already did all of the armor sets. So Hunter, Titan, and Warlocks, you guys already have your armor sets and a lot of them are really cool. For this one, we went for a Sheriff Cowboy theme, I guess. So Masquerader's Cow is an easy choice. I love this one for a cowboy set. Uh, the TM Herb Custom Grips, the Parade Vest for the chest piece, the Deep Pockets Ornament for the Lucky Pants, and then again, like I said, the Crimson Plume Cloak. So <clears throat> you can definitely go for the TM Earp uh, cape so that way you can have the cowboy hat. I didn't want that because obviously I'm using the Crimson Plume for this set. But what's really, really cool about this cloak is the fact that if you really didn't want to use this, uh, the cloak, you could just do this instead. I could have sworn that the cloak. I'm thinking about another one. Either way, it's still really, really cool. Really like this uh, set for the hunters. So let me know what you guys think. But for 801 let's be looking at vitrified chronology so vitrified chronology this is like one of my favorite shaders just because it has a really cool glow let me actually switch helmets real quick so you, can, you guys can actually look at the glow um let's go for not you fucking let's see let's see um i guess this one this one goes well with the cowboy look as well so we'll do that one so vitrified chronology one of the reasons why i really like this shader is because it has a really good purple yeah that right there Th to be fair this is not like the like the most brightest purple but there is a slight hue there which i really like if you want to go for a really really dark purple you're going to be looking for um specifically this is my other favorite shader because of just how dark that purple is yeah right there welded brass is a great great shader there's there's a lot of purples in the game um amethyst veils is another good one but yeah pretty good so far uh next one's gonna be new pacifica rush worn this is a rare shader from vanilla destiny 2 technically not even tech mm. it's from destiny 2 vanilla the reason i'm like kind of hesitant is because the worn set from what i know it was never sold so it's like an uber rare shader well not anymore since she sells it so much and dead orbit camo which <clears throat> is a really good shader if you're going for a camo look obviously as it says right here it has a camo right there so definitely really good for the armor, it's going to be the Fallen themed armor. I'm going to be honest with y'all, a lot of the, the pieces from the, all the classes have some really good pieces. Hunters, I think the helmet, the arms, the cloak, and the boots are really cool. Um, the only thing that I find annoying about the cloak is that it shaders really terribly, and the chest piece also shaders terribly, and I'm not the biggest fan of it personally. Titans, I think the arms are really cool. The chest piece is pretty cool. I think the boots are cool. The only piece I really don't like is the mark. Uh, and the helmet is really cool as well. Asymmetrical, but I mean, all of it is asymmetrical. For the Warlocks, I think the helmet is cool. I think the chest piece is cool. I think the arms and boots are a little bit boring, but you can definitely utilize it for other pieces. And the bond is amazing. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up for me to one. And as for Banshee, we have Chrysura Mello with Fourth Time to Charm and Frenzy, Nature of the Beast with Hip Iron Grip and Vorpal, Enigma's Draw with uh, Fully Auto Trigger System, Elemental Capacitor, and then Soul Survivor with Outlaw and Frenzy, and Negative Space with Burst, no, uh, Tireless Blade and Whirlwind Blade. So, yeah, uh, the reason I laugh at this one is because Full Auto Trigger System's already in the game, so that's pretty much just one gun that has a perk. Honestly, I didn't really see anything that really interested me personally, but let me know which one interested you. Um, Next up is going to be Zer. Zer is going to be selling an armor set that I feel like people should get, but at the same time, be warned, it does not shade her really, really well. So let's get into Zer real quick. So Zer is obviously going to be selling some cool shit. Uh, Huckleberry Catalyst, which is really cool considering kills with this weapon now reload the entire magazine. Remember, this also has mag uh, Rampage, the base version of Rampage, not the nerfed version. So this is still going to be doing a lot of work. Uh, Trinity Ghoul, which is an amazing catalyst. Lightning Rod now triggers from any arc damage final blow. 
Ooh, excuse me. Uh, any arc dam damage final blow. So not only will this weapon be proccing it, but I'm pretty sure like literally anything, like even your abilities. So that's really, really cool. Uh, Celestial with <clears throat> high ass recovery. Not gonna lie, man. This is actually pretty decent because if you bump up your resilience to a plus 10, then you'll have a 19, 27, 10, and 21. Eh, it's pretty, I mean, high intellect as well. Four Celestial is also really nice. So I definitely would think about picking this one up. Uh, severance enclosure with too high mobility and then crown of tempest with with the same problem we also have relativism which might as well uh we'll see what this does later because uh, i'm pretty sure i don't have any yep there it is so strange gear offers so hawk moon with quick draw interesting arbalist which is one of the best guns in the game i still think so i still love this gun uh, hard light with uh I mean with it's still a good weapon also changes your burn which is immensely amazing i don't i don't think you can get it's only light burn so it's not the the dark ones so i mean it's still really good nonetheless and then prospector which i i've been told from my friends that is really good i mean full auto trigger system feels hilarious on this but i mean you do you boo uh dire promise auto loading holster and osmosis brass attacks with slideways and rampage timelines vertex with lead from gold and snapshot sites Stochastic variable with Zen moment and unrelenting. Bad omens with tracking module and quick draw. Negative space with energy transfer and fat flash counter. And then quick fang with thresh and flash counter. So, um, nothing really interests me here. I mean, like, honestly, if Lead from Go or not Lead, from, if Snapshot Sights was almost anything else from Timelines Vertex, I think this would be a good PVE weapon. Um,. Oh, charge time on it too, bro. That's very unfortunate. Yeah, it's just a snapshot site that doesn't really do anything aside from just feel good. Um, and even then, it's an adaptive, so it's not even that like insane for me to want that. So, I, yeah, if it had literally almost anything else, I feel like this would be a dub. Um, and for the armor, it's going to be the Abhorrent Imperative Armor, which is the armor set from Mars. More specifically, the... Uh, I forget what the event is called, but uh, it's it's an old armor set. It's like legitimately almost ancient at this point, considering it came out in the second DLC from Destiny 2 Vanilla. So um, what's it called? I don't even remember the activity is what it's called. I'll have it somewhere if I remember. But um, Hunter's helmet is like I like the helmet. It just it's really low on the actual mask. Like. Your eyes are like almost covering the top of the visor, which is really annoying. Same thing with the cloak. The cloak is way too high. So any other helmet aside from Abhorrent Imperative uh, Cloak is just going to look really funny with it. The arms chest piece, I think, are the best pieces from this whole set. I mean, if I'm being honest, I think the chest piece is legitimately just the best out of everything. The boots are okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm not going to say they're trash either. Titans, on the other hand, helmet arms super dope they're probably the best pieces from all of the classes if i'm being honest chest piece and boots are decent and i think the mark is very boring warlocks um the helmet is i'm not a big fan of it it just looks really weird um arms are a little too bulky i think the chest piece is probably the best piece from this set boots are a little bit boring and i think the bond is also a little bit boring so i'm definitely not the biggest fan of this armor set that being said i definitely would still recommend you guys pick it up because a it's a rare art armor set from ages ago like legitimately it's super old not only that it's not called the abhorrent imperative that's only for the hunters titans yours is the midnight exigent and then warlocks yours is yuga sun sundown which is pretty cool so as for the armor rolls i'll shut up so you guys can see that right now <clears throat> So that is Zer. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Zer. I definitely think Zer is worth going just to see what he's selling. Not only that, but some of the armor he sells is super duper cool occasionally. But um, it's also a lot of things that a lot of us veterans will already most likely have. So again, this is mostly just for beginners, specifically like the fashion stuff, really just for beginners. Um, everything else might be useful to you. I might, you might never know. I might never know considering it's Zer fucking he's out some sh he sells some wild shit sometimes um why am i here not here i have to go to do over here 
We're gonna go to Eververse in a bit. I just want to check out what I got for the relativism relativism ornament. Uh, in most light and girl, Fa I cannot fucking escape girl Falcon, dog. Jesus, I've got an I got in girl Falcon and almost all of them, bro. Uh, using an ability empowers the other two abilities, granting them improved <laughs> energy regeneration. I'm gonna buy it again just because I want another one instead of Spirit of Girl, girl Falcon. So I'll I'll be right back. So I am back with Verity and Dragon. So using your class ability, it reloads all weapons and increases weapon handling speeds for a brief time. And then weapon final blows with a damage type matching your grenade, grant a stacking grenade damage bonus. <clears throat> all right. Let me know if that's good. I don't think it is. Um, Spirit of Dragon, I will only want this with the uh, six coyote a perk if they even roll together which i'm pretty sure they do if not that'd be such a wasted opportunity but i'm still gonna enjoy this i'm probably gonna see what i can do with this but i feel like spirit of the dragon really i just want that on pvp specific things so let me know what you guys think about this one as for eververse we have bioloom uh boreal char uh dreaming shimmer Now, for this next one, it's going to be an armor set from, uh, I think, Curse of Osiris it was? Yes. The Omega Meccano set, which is for all the classes. I'm going to be looking at all of the arms for everyone. So, Hunters, this one is yours. Just be aware that this navy blue right here, that, that does not change color, unfortunately. So, just uh, be, be aware of that because I did not know and I was really mad when I saw it. Uh, Titans, yours is the Omega Meccano's Gauntlets, which is asymmetrical unfortunately i really do wish this was on the other side like this armor why did i do that hold on give me one second it's this one over here right titans over here like this one this one is legitimately the same thing just on both sides i really wish we had that for the omega mechanos for the titans just because i think that would have been way better and then warlocks yours is fucking terrible be honest with y'all look at this what is this dog this is supposed to be vex themed also just be aware of that which is why i i'm like what even is this because you get a whole vex helmet which i'm really excited to get this i have a i have one specific vex theme that i have for my warlock that i cannot wait to combine with this so i will most likely be making the arm video tomorrow uh, which if you guys don't know i'm basically am using an armor set from each of these pieces when they get unlocked so this week is the arm video next week i don't even know which it'd probably be the boots maybe i think boots next week um so next week will be the boots which i will most likely post as fast as i can the only reason i was a little late for this week was because i am working on a fuck ton of content i usually say that but i legitimately mean it this time considering not only am I working on this, not only am I working on the exotic videos, not only am I working on this video, not only am I working on the uh, class specific exotics as well, but I'm also working on the playlist Arbor review shaders and the class specific video. So the three videos as well. So I'm working on a lot of content this week. I'm hopefully going to be doing a lot of the voiceovers either today or tomorrow. And then after that, I'm just going to be just throwing it out for you all. So yeah that is pretty much it for the armor sets for all the, the classes i think the arms are definitely worth a pickup because again this armor is really actually cool to hunters i'm going to show you guys yours real quick because i do think yours is super cool that being said the other classes also are really cool so definitely pick it up um we have chef's kiss and then for the stuff at the bottom we have doubt for trust which is not the best ornament i think the other one is the one with the ivory that one's way better um star racer 95. does the purple change color it does not and the orange doesn't change color either i think wait no it does maybe i think it does it look yeah it does okay it just Certain shaders don't change it. Uh, Firebreak Rescuer. We found out in the beginning of the week that this, the, bl the blue liquid does not change color, which is very unfortunate. Uh, photovoltaic Shell. Let's see if this one changes color. That looks cool as fuck. Wow. Um, we have You Fail. And then You Pass. 
For the other transmagnetic effects, we have Dreaming Shimmer, which I think we saw up there. Heartbreaking Entrance. Reflection Effects. And then for the Shader Sinking Feeling. Heat Shielded. This one looks cool. Uh, underscale o Undergrowth. And last but not least, Bruised Blush, which I hate this shader. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. I'm really excited because there's a bunch of content, like I said, that I've been working on. Um, we will be working on... Oh, shit, that's right. I forgot about this. Mm, I might have to buy this this week or next week. I don't know. We'll, we'll make a video on this for sure just because I do think the helmet is worth picking up. Um, I think that's it. I'm not going to be picking this one up nor this one. Um, there's a few things I would like to pick up, but honestly, the things that I'm just mainly working on is just, oh, this looks so fucking cool. I kind of want this. Um, yeah, I'm currently working on a bunch of stuff, like I keep saying, but the exotic videos are one thing. Hunters, you're already done. Both of your videos are already out. I think one of the Titans video is already out as well. I'm going to be working on the class items after we're done with the exotics just because uh, I want to do the new ones first and then we'll do the class specific ones just because that's very thematic. Um, I might get some of these ornaments and then make videos on it. I know I said I'm going to do that for the one shot. Unfortunately, we don't have a really good shader that has all of these together that do a good job. Not only that, the armor I was going for doesn't look that great. I'm still going to try to do it because if it comes out really well, I might just buy this ornament. But I might do I might start doing that where I make uh, armor that goes well with the armor or an exotic. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Remember, if you guys want to see a specific video, let me know in the comments below. Um, also, be aware that I'm going to be working on other video games as well. Not just Destiny 2, uh, Final Fantasy 14, World of Warcraft, Warframe, um, Elder Scrolls Online. Once I get to the point where I can do the fashion of it and some other things as well. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later. I have to go fucking poop.